as soon as we found out that we were going to be out of school and I realized that my kids weren't going to get to perform a lot of their music, I wanted to give them any way to at least perform it in some fashion. We really miss each other. We miss like having like an atmosphere with other people. Even though it's online, even though it's not really actually in person, it's a very small way for them to get to do something together. And it's been so funny to like read some of the comments. There are students who are like, oh, I got to sit next to you in virtual choir and it's so cute. We have a bunch of little uh, group chats for all of the choirs and stuff. And so we all talked and we all talked about like what we were doing with the music and like, I'm struggling with this part and helping each other out even though we weren't together. We're all putting in a lot more effort to make sure that everything runs smoothly. It was nice to see that like, even if I'm apart from my choir community, we can still come together and make music in our own homes. It is just so special that in this time when we are not allowed to be together, that those kids got to be together. We're gonna to close today with the virtual choir giving us all a little lift. This is Harrison High School in Cobb County, Georgia. For Dr. Jen Ashton and all of us here at ABC News, stay well, stay home, and have a great day.